Whoever sees this and subscribes right now get a free Coke Zero. Mine is the Coke, so you're welcome for nothing. What's going on, YouTube? It's Marley Knox Hill, and we are back. We are back with our reaction series. So today, today, man, listen, it is a weekend. Our time to kind of branch out and do something different. And you know what? We've dove into the world of Hamilton. We've dove into the world of Encanto. You guys know I like to step outside the box every once in a while, check out some different types of music, some powerful shows and films. And this is something that has been highly, highly requested for a while now. Something that, funnily enough, I've never actually seen or checked out. Yes, I know I am a father, but at the time when all of this came out, uh, my kids were just being born, so it's not like there was an excuse to uh, to go see it or maybe sneak into a movie theater to check it out. So you know what? I think it's well past time that we finally dive into the world of The Greatest Showman. And this right here is This Is Me. I am not a stranger to the dark. Wow. Hide away, they say, because we don't want your broken parts. I'm not a stranger to the dark, playing off of the hide away. So you have a symbolic darkness there of being an outcast. They're telling you to hide away. And I can't help but think that, especially with the laughs at the beginning. And you've got this beautiful piano underneath. And obviously you saw my expression because I was a little thrown off because it's such a close crop shot. I don't really have context yet, but you see the beard. But then you hear such a beautiful purity of tone and more of a feminine voice. But the longer eyelashes and the way the eyebrows are. Your broken parts. I learned to be ashamed of all my scars. Run away. They say no one will love you as you are. Mm. But I won't let them break me down to dust. I know that there's a place for ah. us. For we are glorious. What a line that is, though. I've learned to be ashamed of my scars. And it's so true, though, when you think about the human condition. Because we're all flawed. And we all go through pain. And we all go through different life experiences. And obviously, you have someone who's physically different here. Right, And you can only imagine how much they've been ostracized. Mm -hmm. And whereas I try to stand for a platform and a channel where you should be proud of your flaws, you should be proud of the things that make you human and kind of embrace your scars because that's how you move forward. In this case, what's happening is it seems like we're having an expression of, you know, hide these flaws, hide these things away. But they're not necessarily flaws, and they're not necessarily scars. They're only viewed that way through this societal lens. I don't know. We're getting too deep already. Hmm. Oh. That's a bar right there. I'm going to send a flood. I'm going to drown him out. You know, like the saying, drown out the noise. Right? Just ignore the haters. Ignore the critics, in a sense. But in this case, playing off of the flood, what in the Noah's Ark bars is happening right here? We're going to just flip it back on them. When the sharpest words want to cut me down I'm going to send a flood, going to drown hmm. I am brave. Does that dude have horns on his head? Yeah, okay. All right, I'm making more of a connect. Because greatest showman, right? You think of, like, the circus. Bearded lady, okay. I am brave, I am bruised, I am who I'm meant to be. This is me. Look out, cause here I come. And I'm marching on the beat I draw. I'm not scared to be seen. I make no apologies. This is me. Oh, wow. You know what I love about that line is I'm marching to the beat that I drum. You know the saying, marching to the beat of your own drum? Kind of embracing who you are and just being comfortable in your own skin. Being comfortable that, yeah, you're different. You stand out. But you know what? That's what makes you special. And you notice a little bit of sort of that marching drum-like percussion underneath when that line gets sung. I like those bars. And then even the lines, I am bruised. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm battered. I'm not perfect. But the way that it's sung, you know, it's... Yeah, it, I really love just kind of taking sort of this darkness and the shadow and these doubts and just there's this positive note underneath. There's this light at the end of the tunnel and there's this inspiration to it all. Man. To be seen, I make no apologies. This is me.
Okay. Wow. Okay. Take us to church, man. Like the the choir type singing right here and just bringing it all together and words can hurt. You know the saying, six and stones can break my bones, but words can never hurt me. Nah, that's, that's not true. Words can be the sharpest of daggers. And like the second verse said, they can be like bullets. But in this case, we're pushing past these words. We're pushing past these doubts and we're breaking through societal barricades. Like in this sense, I love how they're like walking through this frame right now. Again, I don't have the full context of the movie going on around me, but it looks like, you know, a party in a certain class and type of people that would look down on this group. And this group is walking proudly through the middle of it all. Notice the, the visual symbolism here. emotionally right now and it's not like it's a it's a sad song so i don't know like where this emotion is hitting me from but wow it just it really digs at your soul doesn't it and just grabs you and, and lifts you up and takes you on a ride about embracing your inner strength and you know wow I love those visual effects right there when everything almost turned to like the mannequin challenge, right? Everyone's frozen except our main singer who does most of the movement. But then right there is a percussion kicks back in and everything just crescendos one more time. That's when it synced up when everybody kind of hits the ground at once. I love that. And I love that moment too because you had like the power chords and the power singing and everything was kind of up here and being elevated and pushed. And then right there, we just scaled it back for a second. We brought it back down to the piano and brought it back down to the, the beauty and the soulfulness of the singing. This is brave. This is bruised. This is who I'm meant to be. This is me. Look out, cause here I come See more of the circus setting now. Wow, that was powerful. And even the scene where they're just walking through the line of people picketing, and you see the different signs like Freak Show, and yet they're walking straight forward through it with pride, with strength. I mean, if you've ever felt like you don't fit in, if you've ever been outcast, if you've ever been bullied, you know how much words can affect you and how much words can hurt and what a great way to kind of take all of that just darkness and and doubt you know when you start just dwelling on your flaws and, and dwelling on why people say the things that they do and finding a way to go you know what no these are not things that hold me back and hold me down these are actually the things that make me stronger 
that make me better for who I am. And what a way to just embrace that and express that through the spirit and power of song. And I'm not going to lie. I mean, that was that was tugging at the heartstrings there. You had you had the tears coming out. And I'm like, man, what is going on with this song? But that just speaks to the emotional power and strength of music as expressed through this. And yeah, I definitely, uh, I think I need to check out this movie. Greatest Showman, you were Knoxville certified. Hope you guys liked today's video. Listen here at the end, obviously enjoy the content. Do me a huge favor, support the channel directly. Subscribe, notifications on. It really, really does go a long way. I love you guys. Comment down below any other recommendations, any other songs you want to see me check out from this movie. If there's other stuff you think I might like, please comment down below and share it. All right, have a great weekend, and I'll catch you again.